One of the most beloved games in the whole Pokemon franchise, Pokemon Crystal, which is an enhanced version to the popular games Pokemon Gold and Silver, and released in December 14th, 2000 in Japan. Its starters, Chikorita, Totodile and Cyndaquil, were quite popular and, with the right team in place, it can be quite easy to beat the game. But what if you would start your journey with Gligar? This is Lonely Mimikyu and today we will be covering if it's possible to beat the Elite Four in Pokemon Crystal using only a Gligar. So if you haven't, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And if you enjoyed this one, please tap the like button. Don't forget to check out my other videos and if you have other suggestions on Pokemons to use to beat the game, please leave a comment as we may as well do it for you guys if you smash the like button. Without further delay, let's jump on it. First of all, let's check the base stats for Gligar in Generation 2. This Fly Scorpion Pokemon has 65 HP, 75 attack, 105 defense, 35 special attack, 65 special defense, and 85 speed, which gives him a total of 430 points. This puts Gligar in the same category as Quagsire, Quillfish, Illumise, and Volbeat. Let's also set the ground rules. So I cannot use any other Pokemon in battle other than Gligar, I cannot use any items in battle, I cannot hold any items, and I can only use moves by leveling up, so I cannot use any TMs or HMs, and no other glitches or exploits. Its base stats are actually not that bad for an early in-game adventure, as the original starters start with a base stat range from 309 to 318. It might get challenging mid-game onwards, as the final evolutions of the starters are over 500 base stat. So I suspect that Gligar will be quite good in early game. And this is proven correct, as the first battle with my opponent is no threat. So is this the first gym leader. The biggest problem were rock types, as Gligar doesn't learn any ground moves, even to take down a level 4 Geodude, it's a struggle. In order to defeat Bugsy, I had to grind Gligar up to level 25 to stand a chance against its Scyther. Off we go to defeat Whitney and her mighty Milk Tank, which was, in fairness, easier than I expected and I was able to defeat her on the first attempt. Morty's team didn't pose any significant challenge, especially as I had to grind before and was able to single shot them. Chuck's team wasn't that hard as the level difference wasn't that big, so another easy sweep. Jasmine's team was a threat, as the only move I have that would make some decent damage is Faint Attack, but eventually I was able to beat her. And to wrap it, neither Price or Claire's team were a threat and were easily whipped out as well. After a quick battle with my opponent, I finally arrived at the Elite Four. At level 58, I was confident enough to give it a try, but Will's Kshatu took a decent amount of my HP using Confuse Ray and Psychic, and Jinx took me down with an Ice Punch. Back for some grinding. Next attempt was level 72. Will this time wasn't an issue at all. I was able to one-hit KO most of his team and didn't take as much damage. The next opponent would be Koga and his Poison team. Ariados went down on the second hit. The only annoying Pokemon was Foratress, where I tried some faint attack, but didn't have much effect. So I decided that the only way to get him down was to land Guillotine. In the last move, it eventually worked out, but no Guillotine anymore until the end of the tournament. Crobat came down with two slash, despite trying to use double team to increase evasiveness. Muck followed the same destiny. His last Pokemon was Vandermoth, which was defeated with one slash and quick attack. And Koga was defeated. Number 3, Bruno and his fighting team. He starts off with Hitmontop, which is defeated in a critical slash. Hitmonchan didn't oppose any threat and was defeated with a slash and quick attack. Machamp landed a cross chop on me, but with two slash it was game over for him. Onyx was my concern, being a rock type, so faint attack was my only hope to get this rock serpent down. And from my surprise, it only took two moves to get him out of business. And to wrap it up, Hitmonlee. Two quick attacks were enough for him. 
The last member of the Elite Four, Karen, and her Dark Knight team. Umbreon tried to lower my accuracy with Sand Attack, but eventually I beat him. Morkrow did take some damage, thanks to my confusion and missing a move due to lower accuracy, but one slash took him down. Gengar lost over half of his HP, thanks to Faint Attack, and then used Curse to take the rest. Houndoom was an issue, especially being cursed and him landing devastating blows. Back we go to do more grinding. Eventually, I reached level 85 and tried it again. This time I managed to defeat her and move over to Lance, the Dragon Master. Gyarados wasn't an issue and came down with a slash and quick attack. The problem are his three Dragonites. And the first hit me hard with a blizzard that took three quarters of my HP in one hit. I could defeat him, but with only 98 HP left, it will be a stretch. The next Dragonite was one hit KO'd, thanks to a critical slash. Aerodactyl wasn't a problem, and three faint attacks were enough to move him out. Charizard was the next, and hit me with a flamethrower, lowering my HP to 16. I took him down with a quick attack. The last Pokemon, Dragonite, was a challenge. I hit a slash, but Outrage eventually took me down. Back to the drawing board. And after grinding up into level 100, I decided to try again. This time, Gyarados goes down in one hit. The Blizzard Dragonite hits me, but took only half of my HP. The second Dragonite misses a Hyper Beam. Aerodactyl goes down with two faint attacks. Charizard is one hit KO'd with a slash. The last Dragonite resists my first move, but I have enough HP to endure one of its outrage. And the next slash makes me the Pokemon Champion. I did it. I beat the Elite Four with one Gligar. Overall, um, looking back, it's definitely possible to beat the game with Gligar as I did, but it is a challenge, especially grinding him up to a certain level and with so low level Pokemons that was definitely a challenge. And another thing that was really difficult is that Gligar doesn't learn any attack at all from his type. So even though he's ground and flying type, he doesn't learn a single move that is either flying or ground that actually makes some damage besides of sand attack. And I must say I was actually quite shocked to find out when I was playing the game that Gligar was a ground flying type because I've been playing Pokemon Silver and Crystal since 98 and I was sure that Gligar was a poison type for whatever reason. I mean, okay, it's a scorpion Pokemon and, and it is purple slash pink. So of course it has to have some poison type. So it came also for a surprise for me. Am I the only one who ever thought that Gligar was also a poison type? Leave your comments down below, guys. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you like this sort of content where I'm actually trying to beat a game with a certain Pokemon. Let me know which ones would you like me to do next. I'm working on an another one at the moment, which will be a surprise soon. So if you have any other suggestions, ideas or anything you would like me to cover, feel free to leave it in your comments. I may do it as well. I'm actually doing quite a lot of content that you guys are actually recommending me to do. So I'm happy to do it for you guys. See you in the next video, Lonely Mimikyu. Oh.